A prefer code is a way of coding a labeled tree. We could describe it in a few sentences, but we won't. What's more important is understanding how to create something like a prefer code. Remember, once you can describe something as an algorithm, a computer can implement it faster, cheaper, and more accurately than a human being. You want to be the one who creates the algorithm. A useful strategy, always ask, what if we? So given a labeled tree, we can construct a unique decomposition sequence by repeatedly removing the leaf, degree one vertex, with the least label. We could record the decomposition sequence using ordered pairs x, y, where y is the vertex removed and x is the adjacent vertex. But remember, definitions are the whole of mathematics, all else is commentary. A sequence is an ordered list of elements. Putting the elements in a different order creates a different sequence. So what if we rearrange the terms of the sequence? So is it possible for a tree to have a decomposition sequence using our algorithm? To produce this decomposition sequence, we would need to remove the vertices in the order 2, 1, 3, 4. Since our algorithm always removes the lowest numbered vertex, this decomposition sequence is impossible. Or is it? We don't remove the lowest numbered vertex, we always remove the lowest numbered leaf. So if we remove the vertices in the order 2, 1, 3, 4, then we could have removed 2 before 1 if vertex 2 was a leaf and vertex 1 was not. Since we included the step 3, 1, this means that 1 was adjacent to 3. And if it wasn't initially a leaf, it would have been adjacent to another vertex. But at the time of its removal, the only other vertex it could have been adjacent to was 2, the first vertex removed. However, since we included the step 4, 2, then 2 would have been adjacent to 4 and 1. So it wouldn't have been a leaf, and we shouldn't have removed it. Consequently, it's not possible to produce this decomposition sequence using our algorithm. This suggests that we can't rearrange the terms of the decomposition sequence and end up with a valid decomposition sequence. So we should be able to reproduce the decomposition sequence from its terms without knowing the order. So what if we have the terms of the sequence without knowing the order? So suppose we have a decomposition sequence not necessarily in order. So notice that vertices adjacent to 1, 2, 5, and 7 will be removed, so we can't remove those just yet. This means the first vertex removed was 3, 4, or 6. And since we always remove the lowest numbered vertex, we removed 3. So 2, 3 was the first step in the decomposition sequence. Now 4 is the lowest numbered vertex that we can remove, so our next step must have been 2, 4. The remaining vertices are 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7. But we still need to remove a vertex adjacent to 1, 5, and 7, so we can't remove those vertices. This leaves 2 as the lowest numbered vertex we can remove, so our next step must be 1, 2. The vertices remaining are 
However, we still need to remove vertices adjacent to 1, so we can't remove it yet. Likewise, we still need to remove a vertex adjacent to 5, so we can't remove it either. So 6 is the lowest numbered vertex that we can remove, giving us our next step. Now 1 is no longer needed, and it's the lowest numbered vertex outstanding, giving us the next step. And finally, the last step was 7, 5. To reconstruct our graph, note that the last step was 7, 5, so we join vertex 5 to 7. Then 5, 1 means we join vertex 1 to 5. Then 6 to 1. Then 2 to 1. Next, 4 was joined to 2 and 3 to 2. Now, notice that the last term of our decomposition sequence will remove one of the last two vertices remaining. But since we already know which vertices we've removed, we can infer the last step. So what if we aren't given the last step? So suppose we know the steps of a decomposition sequence not necessarily in order and not including the last step. Can we reproduce the decomposition sequence? The sequence shows the removal of five edges. Since we didn't include the last step, one edge remains. So the original tree had six edges and seven vertices. We need to remove vertices adjacent to vertices 1, 2, and 5, so we can't remove them yet. But we could remove vertices 3, 4, 6, or 7, and since 3 is the lowest numbered vertex, 1, 3 was the first step. Now we need to remove vertices adjacent to 1, 2, and 5, so again we can't remove them yet. 4 is the lowest numbered vertex we can remove, so our next step must be 2, 4. We still need to remove vertices adjacent to 1 and 5. We've already removed 3 and 4, so the vertices left are 2, 6, and 7. So our next step is 5, 2. We still need vertices 1 and 5, but not 6 and 7. So the next step is 1, 6, then 5, 1. And this leaves vertices 5 and 7, so our last step was 7, 5. So let's summarize. Given a tree, we can produce a unique decomposition sequence by removing vertex yi, which was adjacent to xi. And given the terms of the sequence, there is a unique order, and we don't actually need the last term. Can we do better? Let's take a look at that next.